Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Adobe has just released its latest update, June 2022, and it has added some of the significant Premiere Pro updates in the version 22.5. So what are those? Let me show you. Number one. Number one is the essential workspace. So if you are working on the single screen or if you are working on the laptop, then you need to have all the essential tools, all the Premiere Pro tools which are most important for any editing any project on a single screen. So for that purpose, the Adobe has introduced the new essential workspace. So if you go to the windows and select workspace and if you come and select this essential workspace and this is the new essential workspace which they have introduced and it works from left to right. So from here you have all these, this is your project, then you have the effects and all other things like library and over here this is the source monitor or the uh, preview monitor over here you have the effects then lumetri essential graphics essential sounds text and all these and a full timeline on the bottom which is very great for editing so you can edit anything over here and it you can just browse everything right from here so this is a good add-on you however you could have created this one at your own but now this has been done for you so just go to the windows workspace and select the essential workspace and if you want to change or make any changes according to your liking you can just do that as well you can just drop it right over here let's say on this side and then you can go to the windows workspace and then you can click click on the save as a new workspace and you can just give it your name and press ok and that way this workspace would be available on the windows workspace and right now this is the untitled workspace alright so this is the new essential workspace which has been introduced in the premiere pro version 22.5 alright so now let's move on to the second number two second new significant feature which has been added in the premiere pro is the vertical workspace so nowadays you know that reels youtube shorts and tiktoks are just gaining the most of the video space so most of the videos are now being made in the vertical position so if you have the vertical resolution if you want to work on the vertical resolution then there was no such workspace but premiere pro now has introduced that so if you go to the windows workspace and there is a vertical workspace right on the bottom just select that and you can see now this is the vertical workspace so if you have the a vertical workspace then you can see right now you can work with that that way you get the full preview of the vertical videos you can do anything with that you can just edit okay so you can edit it so that you can see all of this preview so over here here you have all of these options like the, your project effects and other libraries and here you have the effects numeric color essential graphics essential sounds text panel and over here you have the small timeline and this is how you can use the vertical workspace which is a great addition to the premiere pro so now let's move on to the next significant update and that is number three inside the text so if you create any text so if you go to the essential graphics so now if you just come down on the bottom over here you have the fill option so if you click on this well now you can see here you have the solid option then linear gradient or the radial gradient was introduced earlier so you can just pick two different colors okay uh, for this one as well okay so this is for the text so now you have the option to add the gradient in the stroke as well earlier if you click on the stroke you can just choose the solid color as well now the linear gradient and the radial gradient both have been added so now you can be more creative with the help of this one so you can select this one this color for this one and you can select the another color maybe something like this okay and you can see now this stroke is not visible just increase it and now you can see you have the gradient stroke as well so on the top you have this one and on the bottom you have this one okay, turn this off you can see now you can see it clearly so now this gradient feature is also available for the shadows so if we click on the shadows again you have the option to add the linear gradient or the radial gradient 
for the shadows as well so you can just uh, make the shadows something like this let's make it white on this side and let's make it red on this side so if you press ok and let's increase the size of the shadow ok and you can even add more over here one more shadow right you can play with the settings ok it's direction it's angle and you can increase it all right so now the gradient option is available for the stroke and the shadow as well so which is a great way to be more creative now let's move on to the last and the next significant feature number four and that is for the proxy so if you are working on a proxy file then you will notice one batch over right over here proxy batch and then you have the option to export it or burn it with the proxy marks as well so that you know that you are working on a proxy file or you are working on a regular file so suppose you have the 4k footage and you want to and your system is not that capable then proxy is a great way to work with the 4k footage using those proxy files you can use those low resolution proxy files and edit them and then later on you can just sync with them right so which is also a good feature besides that there are certain other dates have been added so let me tell you what are those they have now improved the s 64 or HVAC encoding on Apple MI system so if you have the Apple MI chip laptop or the tablet then this might help you to work a little faster they have now also some more GPU accelerated effects like magnify and replicate spirize and wave wrap so these are now GPU accelerated which means now they work more smoothly so without any lag they will they would work properly so these were the most important features of the Premiere Pro June 2022 release and version 22.5. So thank you so much. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the like button. If you have any question or if you want to say something, leave that in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing for more amazing tips, tricks and tutorials. So thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.